A hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate and use GitHub Copilot in VS Code. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, I'm gonna show you how does the GitHub Copilot helps the developer at Visual Studio Code IDE and eventually speeds their, you know, the output basically. Yeah. So as you know, GitHub Copilot is a, you know, AI, AI based tool from Microsoft, which will help the developer to to speed up their job basically yeah? so this github copilot is you know it, it it's available in multiple flavors it is free available it also available with the paid options as well which are higher you know capabilities and higher you know uh, the options are been given in the paid versions as well here we're going to see how does we can integrate the same thing with using the vs code right so i will just take you to my vs code this is my vs code as you see here there are lots of courses here but right now what i do is you know let's say that you know I'm, I'm working on a particular piece of code where i need some helping hand right so here the helping hand is nothing but github copilot right so now to integrate and enable on the vs code you know so you need to enable an extension on your github you know on your vs code so just go to the extension button here click on extension and search for github copilot yeah just say like github copilot something like that yeah so it you will see the the latest extension so i'll just say github copilot yeah so basically the, the the version the the name that you see that is github copilot yeah so this is the extension which we need to enable yeah so for the demo purpose what i do is i'm going to enable it right away on my system so i just click on install and it has taken a seconds and and eventually it got enabled once it is enabled you see that you know so it there will be a button like this will be available in the in the bottom you know tab here so if you see that you know there is a, a github copilot running and the state of the, the status of this should be in an active state i have previously installed and uninstalled that's the reason it is you know reusing the uh, you know the the reusing the github configurations that it needs right so basically whenever if you are doing the you know inst ext uh, the github copilot extension installation for the first time it will ask you to log in to the your github account right so then in that case you must first log in to your github account for github copilot because it does uses that uh, account to to help you in the id like like vs code yeah so in my case i have already installed I and mean, i have already um, I have already logged into my GitHub because whenever you, you know, whenever you go to the extension and, and do an installation, automatically it will show you an option where you can, um, you know, where you can log in and, and you know, um, and, and basically allow the GitHub uh, Copilot to work. Yeah. So GitHub Copilot will only work if you have logged in into your, uh, you know, the GitHub account and which will be used by the GitHub Copilot. Yeah. So in my case, it is already there. That's the reason you say, you know, the, would you like to disable the go, you know, uh, GitHub Copilot, something like that, which I don't want to do. But this is how, you know, I do, I did set up the GitHub Copilot in my VS Code for the first time. Now it, ha now the time has come to to just to evaluate the, you know, the uh, the GitHub Copilot and see that, you know, how does it actually helps us. So here I'm going to evaluate the GitHub Copilot into two stages. One, I will just check with the you know the the normal code that is normal python code how does it helps us in, in writing the normal python code in second case i'm going to check it like you know how does the github copilot helps for the cloud engineering so here i'm going to run certain piece of code in the boto3 versions boto3 are you know nothing but that is aws given sdk so i will just ask certain you know uh, coding help from the github let's see you know if it does help helps us for that yeah so first one let's check whether does it creates a function which is needed for just normal python coding yeah i will just say like i want to add two number so i want to write a function which can add me a two numbers okay so i will say for that case so i need to write a command in my uh, you know in my code file so basically dot pa file is a python code file to take a help from the github copilot you have to write a command so comment in my in the in the python technology in the python programming it's a hash it starts with a hash so that's the reason i'll just write a command saying like write a code write code to add two numbers right so just type the command something like this which should be a readable 
because these these commands will be act as a input to the github copilot and github copilot reads this information and tries to fetch the information relevant to that command and and helps us in the next lines so for that case you just type uh, next line and you see there is a you know the, there is a backward uh, disabled something is coming which i don't want i will just keep on doing the enter yeah so now it is trying to show that you know yes this is the function to add the you know to add the two numbers in python code okay so which is exactly it is showing so once it shows like you know definition and hyphen add and the two parameters which is exactly right then in that case just to accept the you know the suggestion from the copilot you can type you know tab command so basically you you need to enter the tab button to just to accept the suggestion from the github copilot and in the to ask the question you need to put a command so basically you need to remember only these two you know uh, terminology yeah and then keep on doing the enter so basically when you do a enter you know so in the sense when you go to the next line or go to the indentation of the python of the line then automatically you know the uh, the github copilot will try to return the uh, the piece of code belongs to that line you know belongs to that row basically so in the row number 4 it has identified that you know it has to uh, return the it has to return the run the command that is return a plus b right so which i will accept it by entering the tab button and then eventually i go to the next line i will just put it like this so basically you know so eventually what i expected is you know just to return a function in in python to just to add a number which it has written to me yeah so it it also gives a suggestion to whether do you want to add some you know the pytest framework as well so in this case you know test underscore add which is nothing but you know a function which does test the my add function yeah so i will just keep on accepting this one that is add uh, one something like this yeah and just keep on entering it just shows you the you know something like this yeah and then um, uh, subtraction as well so which i don't want i will just uh, remove this for because for the demo purpose so likewise you know likewise for example say you want to write a piece of code which will calculate a fibonacci series for you yeah so i will say like write you can just type in the sense the in the comment you need to just write the very natural language you know the english words you know english letters basically or english sentence so write uh, code to print fibonacci number yeah we'll just say like fibonacci series of a given number yeah so for example say you need a piece of code to print all the fibonacci series till a given number so i will just i will just accept that and here you go right so it, it just started to give the suggestions on the functions which you are expecting so here it just telling like you know hey this is what i i got yeah and then i keep on going to the next number so basically i'll just keep on accepting it yeah so it has printed a function it has got a function called fib number and with which takes the input as n and then it does calculates the you know it does prints the fibonacci series number yeah i'll just uh, keep entering uh, so it looks like it has completed the functions because that's the reason it is going to the next line that is uh, test the fibonacci series number which i'm going to expect you know which i'm going to accept as well and then go to the next line so so for example to ask the question you need to go to the fresh line and type a commands uh, and just to accept the answer given from the copilot you need to type tab button yeah and then just keep on accepting the tab button you can just follow the syntax something like this yeah all right so basically it has given the you know the functions which i expected and it has written to me yeah so basically this is how i tested the you know the github copilot for natural python coding so not only this python coding github copilot does supports the multiple programming languages as well say like go uh, java terraform you know maybe it could be infrastructure code right so it it does supports wide variety of you know the uh, uh, programming languages and helps the developers to achieve their job very fastly yeah likewise now let me go to the next stage of my demo that is you know does github copilot can support us in doing a cloud engineering so in a, in this case i'm interested in aws cloud engineering so in aws cloud engineering we do use boto3 modules to do our automation or to do run our functions yeah basically in the cloud engineering space okay so what i do is i will just test the you know the github copilot whether it does returns the functions correctly as expected for cloud engineering space yeah so what i do is i'll just ask a very basic layman question saying like uh, write code to list all s3 bucket present in in account yeah so basically this is very basic a uh, question that i'm asking 
and it has started to give me the suggestions like first you need to import the bucket then import the pie test as well yeah then import uh, then you know so basically it just tries to you know when you say like import in the sense it it tries to tries to give a suggestion like you need you need these kind of modules then it will eventually give a clue of hey you need to write one function called list buckets yeah and then keep on doing the enter yeah and just accept the tabs okay so i just enter in the tabs to accept the suggestions and eventually it has returned a function called list bucket in that one it has a piece of code saying like um, create a s3 client first and from the s3 client you know a api called list buckets and from the response you know just iterate and get the bucket name okay so which looks to be very close answer so what i do is i'm going to test this function now by by you know by calling this function so let me call this function that is uh, list bucket yeah what i do is i'm going to save this and try to run this piece of code in front of you only yeah for your information i don't have basically my this is my aws account so currently i don't have any s3 bucket i'm just going to create a s3 bucket quickly and just show that you know whether it works okay like go poi lot test yeah i will just say like this dummy name and try to see that you know whether that piece of code works so i will just say create bucket looks like uh, something is wrong here so yeah capsulator is not allowed so i'll just say like test uh, underscore is not allowed okay underscore is also not allowed okay so this is accepted i will just uh, create a bucket so why i'm creating this bucket is you know, just to test that you know the piece of code that github copilot had written is is correct one so right now we created a bucket let's see if i run this piece of code does it returns it does returns okay so this is the one very simple piece of code which you know helped me but let me ask one more deeper you know very um, in depth question saying like uh, write uh, code to spin up to create ec2 spot instance yeah let me see if it does if it does returns it yeah so it's keep on saying like you know return boto3 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 because you know so it is not a it's basically it's not a it's it's just a and it's now basically it does not keeps a state it does not works like how does the you know the chat gpt or bard you know works okay so if you type this question in the chat gpt or in the you know bard ai's uh, prompt uh, the answers of the the respective questions will be you no know, you know obvious you know it just just you know it just instantaneously throws the answers or, or throws the code right ready made code for us but here in this case it's it's quite different but what you understand and what i understand is basically you know the github copilot is also you know helping the developers as a second helping hand you know while they are coding in the sense while they are doing a very tricky coding you know so and let's say they are stuck with a certain piece of uh, you know the uh, logic that they want to build in their code in that case you know the github copilot can come very handy yeah and eventually you know so it is it is you know it is actually you know removing the blockers uh, yeah and, uh, and i know speeding the you know the developers throughput basically yeah so here we have asked for uh, you know um yeah so here we have asked for create a easy to spot instance then it is trying to you know uh, go from the from the starting that is import about to three but it does not it forgets that you know there is already about three above the line yeah so these are the these are the you know these are the missing intelligence but i don't see think it as a necessary here but but just just to make the difference of you know what github copilot can do what github copilot cannot do so this is what i wanted to just to help you here so it looks like you know it has it has you know it has written the job you know it has written the piece of information which is required to create a easy to spot instance in the aws yeah so likewise you know so yeah so what we evaluated here is you know it just to test if the github copilot can really help us to do the you know the python coding so not only python coding it does also supports node.js java uh, go language yeah so it also has the you know huge variety of um, in, you know the pool of programming knowledge that github copilot can support and eventually help the respective developers to do the jobs yeah all right so with that note i have uh, successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video Finally, a kind request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.